there's totally gonna be some questions if I ever get pulled over with this. Welcome back to the channel guys, hope everyone's doing well. Today we're going to be talking about encrypted off-grid messaging. So basically a system that allows you to use little devices like this, which looks like an old school Blackberry, to send text messages to each other and they can be encrypted. Now what's cool about this is it doesn't use the internet. It basically uses radio waves to create a mesh network which doesn't touch the internet at all or any infrastructure. So it is completely decentralised and owned by the people that run the network. So if this is all new to you and you want to learn more about this, I've done loads of videos about this topic on this channel so you can go and check out my other videos. But today's video is about how we can install a node in our car. So this is my 2017 Audi TT running about 450 brake horsepower. And inside we got this. This is the Flexo Mesh node from Zero Fox 3D. So effectively what this is, is a professionally 3D printed enclosure for your mesh hardware. Now what's really cool about this is that it suits all the different mesh hardware out there. You can put, basically you can put the rack boards in here, you can put Heltex in here, you can put um, Raspberry Pi Pico nodes in here as well. So it's a universal design. It has this really cool GoPro mount as well. So you can basically just remove this to charge it. There's also a battery inside here, so you can basically mount this anywhere. Now, if you don't know already, Chris from Zero Fox 3D does some amazing designs for all the other nodes. Like this one, this is actually like a pager. So it's got a screen on there and it will display the messages that you receive on the screen. And it's so neat, it just fits in any pocket. That's actually a GPS antenna as well on the top. So if you're new to this, you're probably wondering what the point of this is if we're using these little devices to sort of communicate. Well, basically this can act as a mobile base station. So when you've got the car parked up, you can go wandering with one of these and still get a signal. What I really like is because you've got the GoPro mount, you can just use a suction mount. So you can just literally stick this anywhere. You could put this on a window of like an upstairs of a house to get more coverage area as well. Anyway, whilst this will actually work pretty well like this in the front windscreen of the car, it's not ideal because the antenna's inside. So what I want to try today is using an external antenna. So I've picked up this little antenna off of Amazon, which looks pretty cheap, but I think it might actually work quite well. So it's not actually magnetic mount. It's got this little kind of stick back thing here and the coax cable isn't great at all but interestingly when I hook up to the nano VNA I'll show you it doesn't look bad so here we go then you can see at 870 megahertz which is quite close to where we're transmitting it's only 1.2 SWR so basically the closer that is to one to one the better and of course we haven't got a ground plane or anything like that it's just sitting on this table so I think this actually could work quite well so in an ideal world I'd probably cut this coax down a little bit to prevent the loss but I'm going to test it as is so you guys don't have to worry if this works then there, this could be a good solution um, it's not actually that much coax either I think it's less than two meters um, there so it shouldn't be too too bad there's going to be so many antennas on this thing what I think I'll do is I'll stick it there um, just use a bit of isopropyl to clean that surface make sure it sticks properly um, then I can thread the wire through this this channel here just straight in and that should be pretty simple then right so this is where it's ended up because putting it there of course the boot comes up so <laughs> it's going to come straight off I'm going to pop out and grab some better sticky stuff and we can test how it works as it is there anyway it's not going to come off but this is looking quite promising apart from the loss from the coax the SWR is actually pretty low um, so that don't look bad. There's other mounts for this as well, so I'll be able to find somewhere to sort of stick this in the car um, that's a bit more discreet. Right, let's flip this on and give it a test. Go for a drive. So I'm just up the road here, just parked up, not too far away from my home station, but this is a little bit of a tricky sort of location because um, it's slightly kind of further up the hill um, and I don't usually get a very good signal from my base station here but you can see here messages are starting to come in which is quite good so if we have a look on the node list screen here it's showing now so basically what we're using we're using the flexo here to basically like as a repeater to relay um, via this so it, it looks like it's working what I can do is a test actually um, let's give a little test message out and see if it goes through. So I'm just going to say test mobile, anyone copy? That's gone green to show it's been sent, but it means it just means really it's just hit that node there. So we'll see if anyone comes back. Right, whilst we wait for maybe someone to reply, I'm going to go to Baker's, I think. Yum. This is quite surprising. I'm going to show you the MeshTastic app so we can see the signal strength of my home station being picked up by the antenna on the roof. So here it is, it's this second one down here. Minus 94 and 5.5, that's really strong. 
that's really really strong so this antenna is actually working very well on receive which that's the main thing i'm concerned about because that coax cable is very thin um but it seems to be working it seems to be working pretty well that's not a bad signal at all from from home someone's just come back saying it's working there 24 ac so that's good um so this is like a public channel basically anyone can talk on and anyone will receive so it's like a broadcast um channel which is pretty cool so far so good then i'm going to head over the other side of town now where i know signals a little bit scratchy on the handheld devices and see if it improves with this just just pulled up again just doing a signal test on this you can do a signal test so this is a station that's not very far away it's one of my own ones so yeah very strong minus 105 0.5 this actually might be hitting that direct rather than going through there um, at the moment because we are quite close to it right just over the other side of town now i'm going to pop in wicks in a minute and see if i can get some more sticky stuff but i tell you what as a mobile antenna this is working out really well i've just been having a conversation on the public channel here no problem at all um and you can see here look some of these stations coming in 15 kilometers away um obviously that's rooting through the mesh we've got here but the main thing is i'm able to reach all of the stations i need to reach um to be able to get into the mesh so obviously this one here 17 and a half kilometers away um that is a link through my home stations but i mean amazing absolutely amazing you wouldn't be able to do that with this device inside the car um without that external antenna for sure so obviously if the car's got a mesh signal then it means you know as long as i'm sort of fairly near the car then i'm going to have it on this as well that is so expensive see without the mobile station outside you'd struggle in a metal building like this to get a signal but there you go look do a test from inside wicks seeing that should go green there you go we've got a nice little report there from uh, pr so i've just sent here cheers mate testing a new mobile antenna and we can actually cheat to see if these messages got across to the rest of the mess by this page here um, which i've done another video on but you can see here cheers mate testing a new mobile antenna um, that was over in hoddiston so we're in hartford at the moment both stations in hoddiston have received that royden's received it that would have received it but it doesn't show it for some reason harlow's received it i don't think shenley did that time but bishop stalkford has got it as well so you can see here it's pretty crazy guys i'm in a place called where now which is the next town along um so i've just been sending some messages so i actually sent it direct from that flexo there so you can see here uh, in where and then i've got received where i'm seriously impressed with that antenna on this car I, I didn't think it would perform as well as this at all just acknowledge that message see if that it will go green from here because it's been received on that so overall that has turned out to be a really successful little mobile setup Bing Fu Antenna from Amazon, I'll leave the link below. Flexo case from Zero Fox 3D, I think there's a new design on this front panel now. Um, he's changed that since I've received this sample. And yeah, in this particular one, I've got the rack whiz block, but you can use the Raspberry Pi Pico, as I said. You can use the Helltech V3, you can use the Helltech T114. Um, yeah, so it is very Flexo. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. If you want to know more about Mesh Radio, links are down below, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.